Hmm. Alrighty. I think this is working. I have absolutely no idea what I'm looking at right now, so I probably should rearrange some stuff over here. Give me a second. Oh, I need this. We need this to be smaller though. Can you get smaller? That's, that's as small as you go. Because I need to see that, and I need to see. No, it went full screen. There, I need to see that. There. There we go. <laughs> okay. Hey, sorry about that. Still getting used to this. So, I got those um, Death Cold Assassins. Oh, I gave it away right there. <laughs> Dark Eldar Witches. And I'm going to kitbash them into some Death Cold Assassins is what I'm going to do. Just want to show you I've uh, adjusted my Crusaders that I've made. <laughs> Gave them a little Inquisition symbol there. See there. This thing has always looked so blurry. And then a sword on each of them. So that they're better. Boop. They look more Death Cultist or Crusader. They got the Storm Shield, the Power Sword, and uh, a little more beefy looking than normally you would find those kind of guys. Alright, so how am I going to make Death Cult Assassins from Witches? Well, not too hard. I've actually um, been messing around here just a little bit. Put the lower half of this body together because it's um, two pieces. It's the two legs, but the, the fanny there has got to be glued in. And not too sure of how I'm putting them on the larger bases because I'm going to do something with the base and the smaller bases just the, the feet are like sort of hanging off a little bit and so that's not useful that's not useful at all so that's what I'm going to do here I've uh, went through grabbed some Skatari parts my uh, Admic parts Rangers and all that got an arm here that's mostly mechanical with a blade on it. This is going to serve as one power sword here. And I've taken the Skatari head and that's really hard to see. But I've just taken my knife. Let me get this. And I've just shaved down on all four sides. Just cut down, cut down, clip that off on all four sides. Like that. And just made that a little bit smaller so it fits better into the head socket here. For the Dark Eldar Witches. I need to get that off. Because before. I just stuck. There it goes. Before they are a little bit bigger. Than the. They kind of fit. But they look weirdish. Kind of weird. They look like they got some kind of. Thick neck thing going on there. These are much better. Much better fit. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use the. The Ranger heads here. I'll have a nice hood with a mask and all that. I am going to use um, Skatari power swords and um, taser goods and other blades that I'm going to cut and mingle together and make into power swords on each end. I'm going to have issues on the other hands. I'm going to have to cut some pistol hands off and then attach these hands here like that to do that I might ha have some other issues with that but all in all it'll work out I'm not really going to use any of these uh, left-handed kind of dagger blades that they have on the sprue I might use this one because it's kind of cool it goes arm length and that's really cool looking that looks pretty death cult assassinish I'm also not going to use the heads from them because they pretty much all have the ears and I don't really want to shave those down and I can use those in some other applications later on. So I have a lot of the bits left for this so I'll be able to kit bash something else some other day. So this is how we're going. There's going to be some noise in the background. I'm sorry about that. It's during the day. It's I don't know. This is live stream. You guys know what time it is. It's 617 here and my neighbors are 
firing off the fireworks joy so I'm gonna try, I'm gonna go kind of against what I usually do I'm not quite gonna put it on the base yet I'm gonna adjust some things here get this head in first get it kind of where it needs to be there we go I don't know where the focal point of this camera is oh, upside down there we go see can you zoom in on that camera I think the light needs to be higher uh, I can't tell if that's blurry or not online looks blurry to me but it might not be because this uh, software what is it this uh, OBS software the screen on it is really blurry when you look at it I'm not sure if that's a accurate representation of what you can see online now I can either go and they have these shoulder pad but it fits neatly under this other shoulder pad that they have I can either go with this kind of arm here which looks pretty decent actually or I can go with this more mechanical type arm on her I think I may use the mechanical type arm on a different one this is kind of going to be like the there's really no sergeant or leader in the unit I don't believe so even with the new rules but this one's going to have this cool thing it's kind of a big old loop it's got a looks like a tyranid skull on it some other trinkets and I think this is going to work really well so this model is going to be the leader for sure so I think I'm going to go with this more power sword that's going to go on her and we have to get this hand working so let me do that get that in there and the reason I'm doing this is one for a variety so they can make the models all look a little different right because uh, GW, the actual Death Cult Assassins that they sell, the resin ones, there's only two, and there's only two poses, whatever you want to call it, two, two models, that's it. It's either A or B, how they look. And they're roughly $8 a piece, uh, without tax or whatever that, whatever else you're seeing. So that's crazy. Eight bucks a piece for some models. Let me see here. Yes. I think we're going to have to put this on the base now. Seeing what part touches the base and what doesn't. But these right here. If you uh, if you had to buy the Skatari parts. I guess it would make them more expensive. But then you could like make a whole bunch of other different models. Either way. So that really doesn't factor into it but just buying these they're three dollars a piece for the models 29 for the pack and ends up being three bucks a piece so that's interesting I get uh, some variety I get some models that are gonna work for me I get a full 10 most of them are going to be female. There's going to be a few male models, which will be fine. They can work in. And I get them cheaper. So all of that is bonus. It works out for me. I'm going to try to put, ooh, put this torso in. Can't give her a twist. Oh, not glowing so much. There we go. That's what we got so far. Put this down. Let me see if I can mess with this right here. Uh, webcam properties configure video focus. No, it looks good like it is. It's weird. Weird. But anyway, so there we go yeah that looks pretty good I think so far and then she's gonna have these arms so let's get her on there it's gonna be an interesting group of models I'll have 10 of these death call assassins when I'm done 
and not a hundred percent sure if that's useful or not but why not <laughs> okay she should be up more I'm gonna go I'm gonna go like this there we go like that a little bit let it glue up some there we go I'm gonna have to cap this and give it a shape before it starts to be ungluey there we go yeah it looks very menacing still looks very interesting very interesting so far I don't know maybe one day we'll be able to do some more stuff all right let me put a little dab of glue back here the poor puppy's crying she doesn't like the she's yeah the boy's got a new puppy her name's cinnamon well her name is cinnamon toast crunch but cinnamon and uh, she doesn't like the fireworks going on right now it's her first first year of this stuff she's only what, nine weeks old now she's just a baby she uh, of course like most of the animals I end up being the one that's taking care of her so she uh, Oops, I thought that was good. My bad. She uh, probably wanted me to come out there and calm her down and tell her it's all right. Oh, come on, glue. So now you see my issues that I have sometimes. You always get to see the, the whole thing here with me usually. <laughs> the good, the bad, and the not so great. Let's see, I could do like that. I could do more up in the air. Do part way in between. Let's attach it right here. And then like that maybe. Okay. That's that's good. Very interesting. Just hands kind of connected directly to the weapon on this one. This still gives her a little bit of a cybernetic look. She's got her back piece on there. Which pretty interesting. Paint that up. I guess maybe a bone effect on that would be the best thing. And there we go. Another number one Death Cult Assassin is joining the Inquisition. Very, very cool. So let's uh, let's go through the process of just doing one full. So the first thing is I got to get this off the spur here. So let me check. I guess three and four are legs that need to go together. Clip the right things. There's a lot of hanging off things on these dark elder. You need to make sure you're clipping actually what you're supposed to clip and <laughs> not too much more. And you need to have clipped off of them see right here this is the the bar that's supposed to go in the slotty base that i didn't get <laughs> just gonna go over like right here like this and clip it right off and then uh just shave it a tad get it back to flat right there there we go i think that's good all right and then these go together like this okay more of a jumping stance interesting okay let me uh pull off the excess plastic where i had to clip that looks like excess there always got to make sure with these dark elder there's always spikes and things sticking out don't know if something's uh, supposed to be there like this little thing or not always got to make sure before you start ripping it apart so we just need to put a dabble d of super glue there and get this body together there we go and this will be 
to be leaping forward. Interesting. That'll be fun. So let's find an appropriate body for this gun. Mm -hmm -hmm. I'm going to try this one right here with a two spikes on the shoulder pad. Get that off. That's the back. And let's find a front. Mm. Let us do this front right here. Clip there. Oh, I'm off screen here. And very careful right here. Might have to go off screen for a second, sorry. Oh, this is not getting right. There we go. There we go. Sometimes it's not the easiest thing. Supposed to these skip me. They're supposed to tell me how far I can go off the camera. Okay, just trim that a little. And right here at the arms, just a tad. Right there. Same with this one. Oh, it's got a huge little nub right there. Bring that off. So yeah, the Death Cult Assassins are going to be added. I'm going to try to add a little bit of everything from the new, well, from what's supposed to be an Inquisition. Need to get more priests. I need to get maybe some more Crusaders. The three probably, probably in all intents and purposes will be fine. But it would be nice to have more to be able to kind of sprinkle in here and there. Um, I'd love to get some of the, like the Navigator and some of those guys, Astropath, to really add in, to give me, give me options of what I want to do with each kind of unit. I want some more Inquisitors, just to be able to swap in and out models, but I have enough to, you know, make a few good teams for sure. There we go, so that's fine, and that would work there. More like this. Okay, so that's good. And I'm going to use this arm. I can use this head. So let's prepare the head. Get this nub off the bottom. Uh, scrape off this mold line here that's on the side. And then just straight down on the four sides. Not too much. And then in from the side. And just cut that. You can actually go in from the side first a little. And then down so it comes off as you come down. Either way. Not. Oops. Whoa. There it went. Not too much off each side. Doesn't take a whole lot to fit it in there nicely. And this is a tad bit get yourself cut if you mess this up <laughs> too much probably safer ways to do this and people will probably tell me what they are but that's okay yeah safety sallies it's okay safety sally little little cut here and there ain't gonna hurt anyone well too much at least There we go. There's the body. Let's see how the head fits in here. Oh, perfect. Yep, that'll work. So now we've got one robotic arm. We've got the body and the legs. We've got a good head. So we need the other side arm. And I don't believe I pulled any of those out. Oh, look at me all not prepared at all. So I get my tweezers and go through the bit box over here. See if I can work me out a left-handed arm. What kind of arms I got in here? Just looking at them all. These are all right-handed arms. On this side. Most of the left-handed arms are holding something. 
gun or something else that's got to be trimmed out. Hey, LT, Daddy's doing live stream, so. Hey, you know, how do you know? I can hear you all the way up here. Because I'm so awesome. The level of awesomeness is just, just resounding and everything. Hey, get out of my stuff. This is not. Just because you think it's yours doesn't make it yours. It's my drone, Father. Is it? Yeah. Are you positive about that? With absolute surety of your positivity. And is the drone even off? No one knows. No one knows. Mm. Alright, so off screen here, but I'm going to cut this. Bring this right quick. I'll bring it right back. Yeah. Mm. There, I just severed it right here between the hilt and the blade. Cut that there. And uh, actually, I should have cut that a little differently. I'm going to set that off to the side. Oops. Should have cut farther down. Let me find another one. There's plenty in here. Um, you got that little wire, so that's kind of a good one. That, uh, they all have that wire. So, first, I'm going to get rid of that wire. Hold on. And cut there. And right there okay let's trim that off there we go okay got rid of the wire now I need to cut like right here so that can hold both sides cut it there we go so I got this part the hilt gotta clean up that area right there though Get it nice and flat so it can glue on one side of this hand and then I just need to cut show you right here I need I don't need this area where the hand would connect I need the bottom part of it so just got to whoop, and that flew across the room I just need that little nubbling right there and now I need to clean this part up a little bit here flat as I can make it Are you doing something, LT? What's this thing saying? The live stream is yellow. Let me look at that. Stream health question. Okay, viewers may be experiencing some minor issues. Okay, well, hopefully it's okay. If anybody's, like, actually viewing live, you can let me know in the chat. <laughs> I don't know if anyone is. I'm just... Doing what I can do right now, right? I'm gonna trim that a bit and bring it back in. Okay, so first I'm gonna glue the pommel on here. Right down here. I need tweezers, got them. Grab this little bad boy here. LT. Put my stuff back and stop messing around. This is my stuff. Mm, nope. You can grab this. This is not grabbing good. Alright, there we go. There we go. Put that like that. Oh, glue ya. You fool. Not the coolest way to do that. Oh, there it goes. I need to have the, the little line there. I want the lines out look weird without them there we go and uh, that's barely holding let's take this other side put some glue on there put the cap on that thing Boop. and glue this I'm gonna make sure it kind of is in line with the angle of the pommel so it doesn't look weird like the sword is bent in his hand or something and there we go okay and it looks weird like the sword is bent in his hand <laughs> there we go uh, no, I think it needs to go around the other way don't you that would be that's more like 
what did she look like right there? And there we go. I'm gonna set that down gently. There we go to dry. All right. So next, it. I'm gonna close this bit box and move it out of my way. Need this in the right spot. So now we got two arms, head, body, feet. We are ready to start gluing things. So this one is going to be just on this front foot. So, whoops. Just on the front foot. So just glue it right here. Oh, it wants to tip over out of the way there, Crusader. There, now you can see it. Glue it up. Get it in there. Hey, Frost and Fist. Just saw your thing over there. How you doing today? Hope you guys have a great New Year planned. Let's see, what are you doing? I'm, uh, let's see, there he goes. I think that's going to work. Now, this body can tilt significantly forward because of the kind of charging angle that we got going here. What do you think we should do, LT? I guess we should... Guess we should go like this. Yeah. And drop it and then have to find it. That's what we should do. That makes the most sense. Are you laughing at me? <laughs> and uh, actually, are you using my my tools to clip your fingernails? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> You're using my pools to clip your fingernails. That is just... It's just rude, really. Got too much glue in there. Take some off. Whoops, she went to tilt to the side. There we go. Trying to get this in line in the back. There we go. So how's that head going to look in there? Set it gently. Oh, I moved it. So I, oh, I dropped that and lose it too. This is a skill that you all should develop. Dropping and losing everything. <laughs> no. What? See? I read that. Cool. Painting that dread for an army. Cool. Yeah, I've got a dreadnought that I have to assemble when I traded for the other Death Watch guys. So I have that dread in the box. Just not sure what I want to do with him. That's for sure. Glad to hear you're doing well, though. Um, let's see, charging, what do you think, like, I don't know, that's, that kind of fits better on there with that bionicle arm. Stop trimming your fingernails <laughs> with my tools! <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. This is why I can never have anything nice. Yeah. Nice. Oh, man, oh, 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 my whole... The whole being is shaking here. The hands are, the hands are losing their, Ouch. their stuff. I don't think she's tight enough here. Tell that glue needs to glue up. I need to. You know what we need to get, LT? We need to get some of that uh, super glue accelerant stuff. We already have. We don't have that. No, we don't. It makes the I super glue either. glue like super fast. Apparently, though, the joint is weaker when you do that. What's so funny about the joint being weaker? Are you, <laughs> are you insane? <laughs> I'm going to sell you on YouTube. I don't think YouTube has rules against selling small children. <laughs> like eBay does. Okay, that's gonna look nice. 
That is going to look interesting. Wow, cool. This is my, my super quick assembly, not letting everything dry, super good technique. Might not work with these guys balancing on one foot. But good news is I have not lost any fingerprints currently yet to super glue for unlocking my phone. So that is a bonus. It's just like that one foot is... Oh, whoops, that sword's just dipping a little bit too much to, towards the ground. <laughs> I want it... Okay. There we go. Oh! Whoa, she's like... <laughs> no. Oh, and there it fell off. I knew it wasn't enough. I knew it wasn't good enough. What's going on? Water and baking soda. We can make our own with water and baking soda? Well, we'll have to find out how to do that. And maybe you can, you can make some for us, LT. Make us some super glue, glue accelerant stuff. Okay, I think we're just going to have to get this arm on and then worry about that foot. That's what we're going to have to do. Get the arm where we want it. Back, back, nope. Because the... I can't have the sword hit the thigh. There we go. Now I'll worry about the foot. Oh, she came off. <laughs> yeah. <I'm... sighs> See, this is what we do. This is what we do. We try to do stuff with poorly formulated plans. Because LT just makes horrible plans. <laughs> Well, it's, it's always your fault. I'm going to karate tap your arm off. That would be cool. <laughs> if you knew karate. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> Enough. Is that your mom? I don't know. You need, oh, shut. Make sure that door is shut good, though. It is. Because they're listening to stuff, and your puppy is crying, and <laughs> the neighbors are firing off rocket launchers. Don't know why they fit. Yeah, that was mommy calling you. No, 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 no. Shut the door on your way out. All the way. Oh my goodness, children. That great. Oh, oh there she goes. That's gotta go. Oh. <laughs> Just freak swears by it. That'll be good. I'll have to What's the recipe for that stuff? Or just look it up on Google, I'll find it. It's just sometimes my... I leave the super glue cap off. That's my problem. Sometimes I leave the cap off and it just doesn't want to glue. i shake it up. I'm going to blow on the spot or something. I know that's probably not helping one bit, but... Yeah, I cut that. I had to cut that paintbrush. He's trying to show me my, my paintbrush that I cut so I could reach into my buildings. So that I could get them painted right. Oh, no, 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 no. Not with those clippers. Those are, um... Those clippers are the good clippers. Let's keep them... Good clippers. Let's keep them from getting messed up. The other ones aren't bad. They're just not as... They don't last as well and they're not as sharp and... They don't stay as sharp as long as they do. i got to teach myself to look over at the chat every once in a while. Eh. This is how you learn, though. It's like 30 minutes of me trying to glue this foot on here, huh? I think maybe we should just put... Oh, so far, so good, right? Eh. Kind of looking. <laughs> well, I'm just going to glue the head on at this point. Just gonna glue the head on it at this point. There we go. Okay. 
there. I like the hoods on there. Okay, I think what we're going to do is we're going to just get rid of that. That's not drying like it's supposed to for some reason. Now I've lost a fingerprint. Oh well. Oh well, there's more programmed all of them into my phone. Just in case anyone wants to know how to break in my phone and knock me out or something, kill me. Just use one of my fingers to take any one of them works. Well, or might not work because really the head fell off. Okay. This is like comedy hour here. Trying to get all this done, huh, LT? Alright, now. Well, maybe if GDW didn't want to Cool. Yeah, I'll have to. I think I'll Google that. See if we can find out how to do that. Okay, she's like seriously got her head down in this position. Mm, That's what happened. Before let that glue, let's see if we can get that head up a little. Just a little. Looks like she's trying to ram there. That's a little bit better. Before it looked like she was just trying to headbutt someone. Which is not good. Oh, it's not exactly the technique you want to use. <laughs> you can say like a greater demon or something like that. I don't think a headbutt's quite going to take him out. Although I am not a death cult assassin, so I could be wrong. Nice. So, are you just going to stay or you're just going to give me problems? Here we go. There. And foot. Wait a minute. Foot there. Bar. Under there. 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 You're good. You're good. Okay. Back away, you. Alright, cool. So we got two of them started. Going down. I like this one. I like this look. It's like. I was unsure about the hoods, how they would look with the um, witches bodies but they really do like look like they belong like they're part of that outfit so it's really good especially when you get the sleeved arms on there kind of kind of can make them like have almost like a, a baggy kind of shirt kind of look and then they're wearing the like the tights under that and it goes pretty good all right, so what I'm going to do over here, and show you right here, is I need to take and get these swords onto these hands because I don't have little hand swords. I got like a ton of Space Marine hands power swords, but not these little hand swords. And these um, these knife things, while they're interesting, I think they're a little small to be considered like a power sword. You know, kind of. Kind of tiny, gets like totally in enveloped. Don't even see it with that power sword on it, like just gone. It's not not good. Except for the uh, that one, that one. In fact, I may put that one on the next one here. Let's do that. I don't know how many I'm gonna make on here before I get this done, but I don't know how long is too long. I guess however long it takes right but look forward to the new year I've got most of my buildings base coated I've got a five story over here and a four story that's got one coat on so it needs two more five story has no coats on I've got uh, two big of uh, the, the fortresses to do and then a ton of like bunkers and the um, earthworks and stuff like that. The, let me find it. Um, these things, these things right here to get base coated. So, but I got a bunch of the buildings. I think last count it was, I want to say 20 something. 24 buildings done ranging from just little one-story things to uh, the five-story buildings 
a lot of them are four-story because they're part of the relicus militarum and so a lot of those are you know four-story tall buildings all right uh, there's the arm so we need to get a body let's see let's get oh no oh. silly paper towel all right a body let's see let's choose i guess we can just go down the list here with the backs that one get it out carefully okay oops and okay we tried legs three and four that was a that was a struggle for us so let's try legs nine and ten over here i guess there 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 i'll cut that thing off in a second there I'll be right back on screen sorry and i missed one right there oh. okay so it's the legs that's the back front needs one more of the female bodies on this one because I want them to have that weapon oh my gosh wow my wife's got the music turned way up on her show LT sort of shut the door most of the way oh well that's what you get for trying to do these things during the day even if you're in your little cloistered closet that you get to have your stuff in yeah it's great having all that terrain but whoo it's like I don't know some people like they post on Facebook all these things like uh, you, you know you'll never get something done if you if you don't believe you can and you've got to believe that you can get it done and you can do it and you know I don't I don't oh geez sorry about that actually pull the cord but I don't really go for that kind of to me it's 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 more of you can believe that something's impossible like wow I'm never gonna get this done and still end up getting it done as long as you just go for it right you can be like wow I'm never gonna do this but do it anyway because it's what you got to do it's it's it has to be done someone has to do it and you're the one that does it right and that's how I've been like with these buildings <laughs> I've looked at them like never gonna happen it's just I'm not gonna get through this pile <laughs> of buildings but every day I've, I've been painting up one or two of them and uh, just one or two again and again every day just getting them getting them down and painting them up and I've slowly got it to where they're nearly all base coated and the base coating is really the the long hard part of it because that takes the most time the most coats but once you get that down then it's the details and those are just as detailed or undetailed as you want them to be and really it's almost like this is like she's coming in landing like this like jumping off something so I guess that's how we'll do it. Put a little dab will do you, I hope. Uh, look at me again. Over here. Not not keeping the lid on there. Hopefully that's how that goes. Oh, I'm going to have to hold that a second. But yeah, that's the thing with the buildings. Is Once I get them all base coated, then it'll be good to go. A run through. What? six six ounces yeah six six seven ounces of paint which doesn't sound a lot but you know the big two two ounce bottles like this big giant bottles of paint that's two ounces that's a lot of paint these little things are only half an ounce <laughs> so run through a lot of base coat but i think it's going to be worth it in the end i think she is good there we go We'll be able to do something because this ended up being kind of on this side of the base. You can see right there. Be able to put something on this side of the base like she's trying to dodge around it. Like here, let me get something. Uh, 
this is too big but I could cut it down like a piece of wall like there that she's trying to dodge around that would work really good in fact I could do that I could cut that right around here give it a nice jagged edge and then put it like that she's dodging out from behind that wall that would look good yeah you just put your head down and go for it right I mean there's plenty of stuff we when, when we're like oh, I just can't do this it's too much and it's not the believing oh yeah I can do it kind of craziness it's the like I said it's just somebody's got to do it and so I guess I, I used to explain it to my kids or do as they come teenagers when they're getting into that they kind of need that badly thing is to I tell them you know if you ever find yourself asked, saying to yourself uh, somebody should or somebody's got to do this just remember you're somebody so uh, get to it <laughs> because that's just the only way to sometimes get stuff done in life is just do it and be the one who does it because unfortunately a lot of times other people are going to be like I'm not it's not my fault it's not my responsibility it's not my fault it's not just sad sad but, but that's just the way I grew up you know if something needs to be done you might as well do it oh, I just stabbed myself with that little thing good thing it wasn't sharp enough that little antenna sharp enough to pierce the skin but dang yeah, trim this head up it's kind of weird these are the same basic size models but this this doesn't fit in the socket as well but then again I guess this Qatari are relatively new and these are fairly old models I'm almost kind of glad I didn't get bases in here so if I would have got the slotted bases I probably would have just went ahead and used those because I wouldn't have a use for them for something else and these little things would fit in the slotties and I think I'm able to get a whole lot better um, different poses and stuff than I probably would have had if they were on those slots and had to fit in a certain area on the base like this one I might be able to put like a piece of debris here on this like she's trying to jump over it get past it you know some kind of debris or something on there It'll be interesting to see how that will work out for me okay, that seems fairly tight not overly tight but fairly tight okay did we did I do that other I haven't done another hand for the other side have I so once again digging through here with the pliers just get me a pistol or something That's a good pistol. I'm trying not to miss up the, the ones I might want to use for something else. What is that? Oh, that would be so cool. Look at me, I'm digging in the bits box. You guys can't see it. It's probably like, what? What? That's cool. Oh, all kinds of things. That'd be an interesting hand to use. Something, a little robot hand. Pointy robot hand. But not today. There we go, there's one I can use. Right there. Okay, I'm gonna go cut this um, pistol off real quick, like. Ah, there goes part of it, and then this upper part of it. Okay, trim this up some. Yeah, stuck on there. Oh, out of the way there. There we go. I've been just do this stuff here, trim it up some. There we are. That's gonna look good right there. I'm gonna leave that part of the gun because then I think maybe I'll be able to just stick the sword on there like that. I think that'll work. In fact, let me let me get a different sword real quick. 
Put this out of the way. There you go, there's one. I'm going to cut this um, right there. There we go. Don't need that part no more. Cut this right there. There we go. And trim it up. Trim it up. I think I'll just keep doing live stream every once in a while. Just learn how to do it and get it better. You guys can let me know any issues that there are. It's hard for me to know. See on the screen that I have. How's it going? Or anything? I had a hand. What did I do with it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> no, I'm just... That needs to be smoothed out better there. Get it flat. There we go. I think that will work. Yeah. I think it needs to be more like that, though. Because it's too... It needs to be angled this direction. It's hard to get it. So it only needs to be a little bit. There we go. Let's see, that can go either direction, so that's fine. Yeah. And now just a little dab of glue will do you. Nope. I know a lot of people use the plastic glue, but like I've said before, I can't use the plastic glue in here when I'm filming because I have to shut the door and all that and the ventilation is only so-so and that plastic goo will knock me out. <laughs> A pro at the, at the uh, live streaming. No, 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 I wish. I get better at it, I hope. That looks, it looks like I should not touch it, but that it's quite, it's leaning too much inward, isn't it? Ooh, come on, my friend. Hold still. There, don't touch it. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Yeah, I got to put my um, got my Yeti mic like right there, <laughs> and I had a, um, a little tripod mic stand that I used to have it on when I did uh, when I was doing the 40k games, the video games that I haven't found the one decent enough to do yet anymore. At least in my opinion. Look at that. That's weird. That would be on the back. And this would be covering the front of the body. Oh, I'm gonna want this. Let's see if I can show you guys better. Let's see if it's like up like this. Then it's. Wait a minute. There it goes. It's like this. It's gonna be like up in the chest area or down. Yep, I'm gonna need it to be down because it can't be like here because that would be bad. And it would be awkward looking if it was like that. How about up above the head? Let's see if that's an option. It looks like it is actually and it might be a better option because it's farther away from the body. That is what I'm gonna go for I think. And it would make more sense I think too. Now looking at I just glanced down at the legs again and like I said it's like geez is jumping in like this and her arm would be kind of back and up to kind of give that balance I feel like that that's how it would be like that oh I just bumped it well it's a good thing my super glue is wanting to be slow drying because it does give me a little time to adjust these things put the lid on the glue <laughs> shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. <sighs> Put the lid on the glue. I need a little flashing sign here. The little on air signs I have for radio, but mine needs to say, Put the lid on the glue. Put the lid on the glue. Oh, no issues at the moment. <laughs> See, I gotta remember to look over there. Uh, yeah, good. Yeah, because it says yellow. It says people might experience some issues, so I don't know. That's YouTube. 
I guess most people do Twitch streaming, but I don't know anything about that yet. I barely know this stuff. You used to be technologically savvy, but the older you get, the less uh, savvy you get about the technology. Technology. At one point, even no matter how you try to keep up with it, it will surpass you. I always wonder about people who are like 100 plus years old. They started out, you know, wagons and outhouses and all this stuff. And all the things that we have now is like amazingness. My uh, wife's uh, great-grandma still around with us and great-grandpa. And, you know, they grew up on a farm in that kind of stuff and everything. About 80 years old. And so a lot of the things that are today were, were not even considered when they were young. Weren't even dreamt of. It's always interesting to think about what, what might possibly be around. Hey, Char Char, can you shut the door? You can come in, but you have to shut the door. Oh, I can do that. Oh, you can do that? All oh, right. But Mommy said you can have this whole thing with cupcake. This. Oh, I don't need this, but thanks. Oh, it's a cupcake. It's a I cupcake holder? Okay. Yeah, yeah it's yours. Yeah, Daddy can make the cupcakes. Is that what Mommy's trying to say? Yeah. I like this. I like this one. Yeah. That one looks good. So. You can make a cookie and then set it in This is what we got it. so far. You can make a cookie and set it in it. Oh no, I'm not making cookies right now. I'm going to do this. But, you know, thanks for thanks for letting me know that I can make cookies if I wanted to. Well, I'm good. Daddy. That is. Yeah, I'm already happy that the, the different poses I'm able Daddy. to achieve here Daddy. on these guys. Versus what I would have if I was to buy the official Death Cult Assassin Daddy, models. They all look fairly imperial. Mm -hmm. That's your brother's droid drone. Don't mess with that. Oh, I can have a drone. They got two power swords. Two, like they're supposed to. Uh, most of them will be female. A few male models is what I'm going to end up with because of just what's on the sprue here. Let's see. Those are legs and stuff. One, two, three, four males, and then three females. So six, six and four. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. I'm going to uh, have some interesting stuff going on here. Stuff. Interesting. So those three guys. So should we do another one? I think I'm gonna do one more. I want, I want the potty today. Okay. <laughs> I gotta be pooping so we didn't go down. So you need to get this. I do. Yeah, the toilet. Do you need toilet? No. Oh, you clogged your brother's toilet. Yeah, you need to get it. Okay, I'll get it later. Not right this second, though. Okay. Okay, well, can you shut the door and go out there for a little bit? And let Daddy sure. finish? Yeah. Alright, I appreciate it. <laughs> Yay. There we go. We clogged our brother's toilet and told everybody online. How about that? <laughs> Sorry. About that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Not in... Uh, what did we do before? We did um, to the legs a three, a four, a nine, a ten, an eight. Um, we haven't done a one, a two, eleven, twelve, um, a five, and six either. Let's do f five and six on this one. So there we go. Gonna do the male body on this one, I believe. I think that's what I clipped out, wasn't it? Yes. Do a male death cult of sauce in here. Get this out. That is really loud. I hope that's not too loud in the background for you guys. Oh, oh I gotta go searching for legs. I'll be right back. Oh. Ow. 
found them. Yeah. All right, close the door all the way. Charlie didn't quite get it either. That's probably why it was super, super loud. All right, we're gonna probably use that arm. We're gonna need another arm for the other side, but we will worry about that when we get there. So, what do we got? We got the body, the legs, one arm. Need a head. Don't need a cupcake holder or silicone cupcake maker. We need a sword for the other hand. And then a hand. No. I'm gonna have to start. I think that's the wrong hand. The other hand. There we go. There's an arm. That one. Got it. Kept getting away from me. So I'm gonna take and trim this real quick best to have that that going for us getting glued up as we do this other stuff I think pull that off trim this the right direction there we go get the sword ready Oop, don't fly there we go and yeah, grab that at the last second it probably would have flew across the table Looked like it had a lot of pent up energy there as I was pressing down on it. So it's kind of cool. Live streaming. Be able to kind of interact a little bit with people. See what they're doing. Hope all of you are having a good New Year's. And had a great Christmas. Mine was the same as it always is. Mostly the kids got stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that's the way we do it we have so many kids kids get all the stuff me and the wife kind of just uh, enjoy the kids because it's really what it's about right family spending time with family Aha, there that'll be glued good when we're ready for it now I guess next I'll trim the head See if I can get myself a, a momentum here going. So I guess I guess I got enough for a basic unit now because it's three, right? Is it three? The new book? I don't know. Let me look at that. Just look. Do I have the new book? All right. Easy. I do. I do have the new book right here. Let's see what it says. Oh, digging through Death Cult Assassins. Do, do, Damon host. I need some of those. I need to figure out a model to do this. Anybody um, look through the GW models? Think of a good model. I've, tried, I've been looking at the 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 Warhammer models, Age of Sigmar, or whatever they call it now. But look at some of those. Some of those look interesting. The turn into kit bash up a little bit for Damon host. Those would be nice. Alright, let me see. I'm Death Witch here. I'm trying to find these. Um, they are part of the Adeptus Sororitas, which I just found. That's the formation. And elites, aren't they? Yeah, they are Death Cult. So only two is a base unit. So with this one, I'd be able to make, quote unquote, technically two units. That'll be good. That will be good. Technically, two units of Death Cult Assassins. All right, we were working on this head trimming, weren't we? But when I get all ten, that would be either a full unit of ten, which would be a whole lot of death. Cultishness. <laughs> or it would be uh, five separate units that we could incorporate, which would be interesting. Or separate them out into uh, Inquisition units. That would be nice. Which is really where these are going for the most part. They're going into my Inquisition force. Because rumors are that there won't be Sisters of Battle plastic kits for anything else besides the, the one that they got out now. 
Ooh, off to take the wife out to dinner. Well, have a good night. Thanks for joining me. I hope you hope you enjoyed it a little bit at least. You guys have a great dinner. But I uh, hope that the, they, they won't have the sisters battle kits for like, like five months or something is what they're saying. So I will save up some money for that. But these guys will have to be used with the Inquisition for now until that becomes a thing, right? There, trim that foot off flat. And there we go. Get rid of this. I hope your New Year is awesome too. Have a great one. We will see you next year, my friend. See you next year. But, uh, yeah, so Sisters of Battle. Would be nice to have them right now and put these in there, but nope. I want to get the shotgun. Hobo. The hobo with the shotgun. Uriah Jacob Jacobus. But he is, um, he's not a priority quite yet as far as purchases. He is a little low down on the list quite at this point because there's so much cool stuff I want. I want that new Admet guy. And I want the new Inquisitor that are supposed to come out. Or supposed to go on pre-order next Friday, the 7th. Hopefully that would be that will be when they do. And if I have some money for that, I will get those if I can. Hopefully I can because I have a funny feeling that uh, at least the new Inquisitor, but probably the Admin guy, are going to be um, pretty popular and probably be on the email me list quite rapidly is my belief that they will definitely be not sold out but you know, basically sold out super fast but uh, sure that's something that they're gonna have permanently so they'll be on the like email me list and be back sort of like the canonist right now can't get that canonist at all I've been waiting to try to get the canonist but not happening right now. Not happening right now. I want his arm to be down a little bit, but not too down. Not like touching the ground down, but don't want him to be leading with that that left arm sword. There he goes. More like that. See how he fits on the ground. Yeah, that's good. Oh, boy. So, looking at this time, it says one hour and eight minutes. Yeah, so after this guy's done, I'll just end the live stream. It'll go up. Anybody who missed it can watch it. Uh, your feedback is appreciated. And I will try to do maybe one a week or so live stream something for you building something or just painting something chatting about a new codex uh, army formation stuff like that stuff definitely stuff like that and get feedback on like army formations like death watch is what I'm really looking at doing next as far as talking about putting things together for the armies and formations and units and all that there he is looks good don't he that is looking good all right well we got four of them done in an hour I like them I like how they look it's four unique death cult assassins which is much more than we could have got from the box set they're very imperial looking because of the Katari heads and weapons and uh, arms kind of give them that look and they do look um, kind of like weirdish kind of like the death cult because it got spikes coming out of places and 
tight leathers and all that kind of stuff so i think it's a good mix i like it if you guys enjoyed this um uh, leave me a thumbs up on the video and uh subscribe to the channel for updates on when i do stuff hit that bell i'm sure that that's probably the thing that's going to let you know when i'm live streaming if i uh just drop in the live stream without being able to just say hi because a lot of times that will be the case because i'll be like you know just have a chance to do it and do it and maybe the kids will come in and all kinds of stuff like happens but it is what it is sometimes maybe i'd be able to do some late at night when everybody's asleep all right guys it was really great chatting with you i really had a lot of fun and um, yeah hit me up with some ideas on what i can do for the um damon host guys what i can make to give me variety and also uh, a little bit cheaper <laughs> per model wise at least because like these guys like i said this is three bucks a model versus um the eight that it would have been done so i'm getting two and uh two-thirds of these you know this would two and two-thirds of these would be the cost of one model the three six nines and a dollar only a dollar more than that for one so that's that's pretty good pretty good work all right guys i will talk to you later